Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jasmine Destine. We back with another nail video. Okay, period. If you guys um watch my nail videos and you recognize this set, this is the last nail set that I did on my channel. And honey, she's been on for six weeks. Yes, you heard that right. Six weeks. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how I basically I'm gonna do a fill-in on this set because I'm not taking off these nails. That's 10 nails to take off. I only had one that was lifting, not doing it. So we're going to go from this crusty, dusty set, boom, to a beautiful Barbie pink glam inspired set. We changing up the shape and everything. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I took my old set and made it new again, then obviously make sure you keep watching. Don't forget to click that subscribe button down below and all that fun stuff. Okay. So we're starting out with pushing our cuticles back because I want to make sure that I have like all of my new growth of my nail, you know, exposed so that new product can be laid on top of it, obviously. So the first thing you want to do is go in and just push those cuticles back because, you know, the skin starts to grow onto your nail. And you want to get all the dead skin off, all of the dead cuticle off of your nail before you go in and you apply any new product. That's going to help. Um, make sure that your sets last as long as they do like literally I feel like my prep on this old set um, Was so good, which is why I had literally had no lifting the one thumb finger that I did have lifting that you guys saw in the beginning Was only because it actually got banged in a doorway and it hurt so bad But because it was like forced lifted up if that makes sense like it didn't lift because of any other reason other than the fact that I hit it so I had no lifting with this set all of my nails are on and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna actually buff down um, the gel polish off of these nails I'm gonna buff down the soft gel nail that's underneath so this set was poly gel inside of my um, a prey gel X nails so I would just suggest honestly like if this is the first video of mine that you're seeing to go back and watch this um, old set being applied so that you kind of understand the process and like why I'm doing what I'm doing I also already have a poly gel fill in tutorial on my channel I'll have it linked in the corner and I'll have it linked in the description box down below so I'm not going to be filling in this set using poly gel. I wanted to try a different um, nail medium because I already have a tutorial on how I do a, a poly gel fill in. I wanted to try something new. I wanted to be out the box. This may not be for everybody, but honey, it works for me. Okay. And the set came out beautiful. I'm very happy with the way that it came out. So we're going to try something new, but I just, I'm taking my $20 e-drill um, electric nail drill that I bought off of Amazon which will be linked down below as well everything that I use will be linked down below in the description box and I'm just buffing off my gel polish to be honest I should have used the one with the sand like the the nail band like <laughs> The brownish uh, burgundy looking one I don't know what the, the technical term is for that that piece of the drill but I should have used that one because um, it ended up being better I use it on my other hand but I started with this hand and I didn't know so <laughs> use the other one if you want uh, it honestly just worked faster this one still got the job done but it took longer I didn't realize until I switched hands but you basically want to go in and you just want to buff off all of the shine, all of the gel polish, obviously, because we're changing the color and everything. Um, you want to get everything super buffed down. Um, I'm trying to get the nail as flat as possible. So this is, again, poly gel inside of like a soft gel X nail from a prey. I'll have those linked down below. So I'm just buffing down like as much as possible. The prey nails can actually... Um, be the word isn't melted but they they can be taken off or removed with acetone like pure acetone but poly gel does not get broken down by um by pure acetone you can't break down poly gel with anything actually you have to buff it off which is why i'm not even going to go in and try and soak my nails because there's poly gel on them so that's just not going to make sense and it's going to be too time consuming and very redundant so i just went in and i buffed everything off i even used my um handheld 
nail file because I just love you know using my nail file like nothing nothing goes wrong when you use your nail file so if you don't have an electric drill don't worry you can use a regular nail file it'll just take you a little bit longer but that's okay if you got time you got time girl um, so for the one nail that did lift because like I said I banged it <laughs> in the door I'm clipping away the part of the nail that's fully lifted off of my natural nail bed so because that's already lifted I don't want to encapsulate um, that lifted nail and trap any air under there because then I'll have like bacteria and like mold and stuff that can grow and that's not obviously not healthy and not good for your nails so I'm clipping all the way down using my cuticle cutters I clipped all the way down to where the nail was no longer lifted it was still attached basically to like the tip of my nail but it had lifted at the top so I went and I cut it down and then I'm taking that drill bit that I should have used from the very beginning and I'm buffing the like the edge so that there's no real like bump or ridge between my natural nail bed and the fake nail. I'm just making it like super smooth, if that makes sense. I feel like you guys are gonna probably have to watch this a couple of times, but I made sure to like show everything so that you could understand what I'm doing. But now I'm just going back in with that piece on my e-drill and I'm buffing the edges of all of the poly gel nails that are still attached to my natural nail bed so that they're really smooth so that I can get a nice blend. Okay, so now I'm going in with my Apre Gel X nails. These are the Chan Legend um, Extra Long Sculpted Square. I absolutely love these nails. These nails are made out of gel, um, like a gel-based material. So like I was saying earlier, these you can soak off. Um, you can use pure acetone and you can soak these off, but I like to use poly gel on the inside of them sometimes Which is what my old set was, but now I'm gonna be actually going in with the extend gel that comes in This set when you buy the a prey gel X nails So in order to prep these a prey nails you have to buff the inside of the nail the soft gel nail This is what's gonna allow any gel product that you use whether it's like you know the extend gel or you use poly gel it needs to adhere um, on the inside by it having a rough surface so you have to buff the inside of these nails that's the only way that they're gonna stick if you don't then they'll just pop off kind of like a dual form and that's not what I'm going for um, the whole point of using the Apre nails is so that you can cut down your sculpting time and your shaping time because they're already sculpted and shaped for you so that's why I use them and that's why I use them with poly gel because I can just fill the inside with poly gel slap them on my nail cure it and then I have a full set and I didn't have to sculpt or shape them at all it cuts my nail time down literally like in half like what normally would take me like six hours will take me like three to four hours which is honestly like a big difference so I really love using the Apre um, sculpted nails um, either with poly gel or with my extend gel so with the slimmer nails because they are sculpted and they're more narrow I can't fit the other drill bit on the inside of the nail as you guys saw so I actually switched nail bits to a narrower one um, these are my nails all prepped and ready to go I'm gonna go in with my Apre acid free primer and I'm gonna apply that just to my natural nail my nail prep looks so good like honestly honestly if I just wanted to go in with a little bit of poly gel and really just fill in that area that you know there's a space there's a gap between my cuticle and my old set I really could like it would look really good but we're not doing that today because I've already tried that we're trying something new <laughs> so I'm going in with my gelish um, pH bond dehydrator and you just apply that to your nails and then I'm going in with the gelish foundation this is a gel based foundation so you have to use a UV lamp to cure this to set it in place every single time I say cure that means I'm putting my hand underneath the UV LED lamp and I'm you know holding it there for 30 or 60 seconds and I'm setting the gel or a poly gel product in place so I get so many questions on my nail videos because there's a lot of new people that watch every single time and I know I don't always go into depth on every single thing that I'm doing 
um and that's because i'm like it would be a lot to to go over it every single time but i went and i cured for 30 seconds that's what my nails look like i'm gonna do the thumb the same thing um i only i'm doing 30 second cures for every single um time that you see my hand go under the uv lamp because i'm putting my entire hand under every single time so there's no need to cure for 60 seconds every single time because the nails are going to continuously be cured every single time I do a new nail. Um, so going in with my Apre Extend Gel, I'm going to have the shade, I believe it's called Insatiable. You want to apply a small bead to the cuticle area of the sculpted nail, the top part, and you want to apply it to your finger. You're going to have some that spills out on the side. You want to wipe that away, cure for 30 seconds, and you have a new nail applied notice how I'm not filling the entire nail with this product one because I already have you know um, an old set on my nails like I already have some poly gel placed down so I don't have to fill the entire nail because then there will be too much product it'll just seep out um, from all sides but also because I am gonna make this set shorter I'm gonna end up cutting it down I'm not gonna keep them at this length because this length is really long and I just didn't feel like doing a super long set this time around I wanted it to be long but like still shorter than this so you guys are gonna see me cut them but for right now I'm just applying the Apre sculpted nails to every finger so I'm just going in I apply a about a bead size to the cuticle area um, apply pressure and push down towards the tip of your nail and cure it in place for 30 seconds and honey you're gonna have a new set in no time it's literally it's become my favorite method for doing my nails because it's just so much easier um, I just never have tried it on top of a poly gel set and I've never tried it on top of an old set so but hey there's a first time for everything okay period so that's what the nails is looking like um, like I said we will be cutting them down so that's why I didn't fill them all the way so this is my little um, nail cutter my acrylic nail cutter I believe that's what it's called um, will be linked down below in the description box but I'm just cutting the nails down I wanted see they're like still kind of long like I guess this is a medium length but I didn't want them super duper long um, because I feel like I can't do anything when my nails are extremely long so I went and I cut them down and then I'm taking my nail file and I'm shaping them I just wanted something really square really sharp really clean you guys know how I feel about my super square nails I love a nice square nail so lightly filing the top and the sides of these nails because like I said you don't have to really sculpt them too much they already come sculpted they already come shaped but I just want to like you know make them a little sharper so that's what the nails look like and then I'm showing you guys the set that I'm trying to recreate so this set was just really fun really like pink and Barbie inspired it has a little Chanel pendant logo and it has like a really fun cow print um, and I love French I honestly feel like French style is like my favorite um, nail design to do doesn't matter what color it is I just love doing like a really deep smile line French so I saw this set and I fell in love I actually did a poll on my story and it was between this set and another set and you guys like voted for this one everyone was like do this one do this one so we're doing this set um the first finger that i'm working on is the middle finger it's just a hot pink french the color that i'm using came out of a set it's a gel polish color that came out of a set that i use all the time on my channel um that i got off of amazon it's a mccart um, gel set actually it's a bunch of pastels but there are some really bright colors in there as well and this was like the perfect shade of pink honestly i feel like it's better than the one that was in the photo the one in the photo was a bit more coral this one's like hot pink i don't know i was like in love with it it's such a pretty color so vibrant um, in that same McCart gel polish set I'm taking this lighter pink color this is like a Barbie pink and I was just like oh my god this is so pretty and I'm going on the ring finger and I'm gonna repeat the same thing so it's gonna be another French on this nail as well 
The snail's actually gonna have the little Chanel logo that you guys saw in the beginning. Um, I didn't have the like the little pendant or whatever that or the gem that went on that nail, but I do have like little rhinestones that I'm gonna end up putting on later, as you guys will see. Um, but I'm just using a mixture of the paint brushes that I've used in other videos to do nail designs it's really small and then I'm using the actual brush that comes in the little gel bottle so you guys know like what my process is I feel like I've done so many of these nail videos that um, it just seems a little redundant to repeat myself on like why I'm doing what I'm doing every single time but I know you guys enjoy the voiceover because I break everything down for you guys. So, yeah. Going in with my white gel polish. And I'm just doing the same thing, repeating the same thing. So, every single nail is going to be French. It's just some of them are going to have, you know, different designs. This set was honestly so fun to do. It's so pretty. Like, every single time I just looked down at my nails, I was like, wow, this is such a cute set. Like, I really do love French. Uh, She's so cute. And I love like the different colored French. Like every single nail has a different color. Fun. So I'm just making sure to do two layers of everything on my nail because I want it to be super opaque. You don't want it to look streaky or a little transparent. So I went in and I did a second layer for all three fingers that you guys saw. And now I'm going in and I'm doing the pinky, same thing. She's getting fast, okay, period. It's the fact that I'm getting better at doing my nails. Like, every single time I do my nails, they just get better, which is exactly what's supposed to happen. Practice makes perfect, honey. So don't feel discouraged if it takes you a million bajillion years because, trust me, it took me just as long. But I'm definitely getting the hang of it. Like, every single time I do my nails, I learn better ways, more efficient ways to do my nails. I learn better techniques, trial and error. So don't feel feel bad if it takes you like seven hours to do your nails if you have the time and it's something you want to get better at you're just gonna have to practice and you're gonna have to invest the time in getting better because you know like I said practice makes perfect so for the thumb I'm actually doing like a really funky design this was another design that I saw on a different set every single finger was actually like this weird abstract design but i just wanted to do one of my fingers like this so i chose the thumb um honestly you can do whatever the heck you want it's an abstract squiggly design <laughs> i decided to do this funky shape it's kind of giving me like spongebob vibes but like hot pink i don't know what it is but going in with the white and i'm just gonna outline this funky shape that I did on my thumb and then I'm gonna add actually another white line too like right underneath it kind of like tracing it but a little bit lower period look at that oh she a whole nail tech out here stop playing with her stop playing with her <laughs> okay so that's what the thumb looks like make sure you cure that baby 30 seconds and then i'm gonna go in with this light pink color again and i'm gonna do like a little funky cow print on my pinky nail this was so cute i want to do this design but on every single finger like i was like oh my gosh this is the cutest thing ever like the the white i don't even know it's supposed to be cow print but i don't know if it's giving cow print but like it's still cute <laughs> i was in love 
and then for my index finger um there's like a little smiley face like a little like xd smiley <laughs> there's a little smiley face so i did pink for the tongue because i already had the pink on my brush and then i'm going in with my black gel polish and i'm doing a little smiley face that you guys are going to see in a second period and just like that there's a little tiny face <laughs> yo it looks so cute it's like eh. <laughs> yo okay so cured that for 60 no for 30 seconds i'm so sorry um and then this is what i'm showing you guys the underside of my nails um i did end up going in and filing them with the e-file but i don't know what happened to my clip of me doing my clear polish on my nails i'm so upset i think it deleted by accident so i did do top coat on everything and then i went in and i was like i'm gonna do the little chanel logo with these rhinestones that i have from amazon i'm taking the extend gel to adhere the rhinestones because it's a thicker consistency the extend gel from a prey think of it like builder gel but in a nail polish bottle so it's a thicker consistency consistency um and i feel like it's perfect for having to like stick things onto your nails and having them like really stick if i were to use top coat top coat is too thin i've used top coat in the past with trying to adhere rhinestones or like gems onto my nails and they pop off the next day because it's not sticky enough and it's not thick enough it doesn't actually like really you know stick to my nail so the extend gel was perfect because i did this and i've had this set on for about a week now and i have all of my gems still so i'm doing my little um cc logo you know we giving the girls the chanel logo on a nail because that's what was in the picture i didn't have the little gem that was on the nail um so i'm just fake making my little fake one <laughs> i'm making my little knockoff <laughs> cc i mean it's still it's still giving cc for sure okay so i'm using my cuticle cutters to pick up those little gems and stick them onto my nail this i thought was going to be a lot harder than it was it was not this was super easy especially because the extend gel was like thick on the nail so it's like when i once i stuck the gem on they kind of just stayed in place so that's what that looks like and then i'm going to cure it so make sure that it's set in place and it doesn't go anywhere that's what my nails look like and then I'm gonna go in with my top coat and I'm gonna make sure to just seal that nail in and now that it has the um, rhinestones on it like I said I don't know where my clips went of me putting my top coat on every nail but I already did it for the other fingers so that's why you guys didn't see it <laughs> I'm so hurt um, that's what my nails will look like ah! look at that they're very cute very barbie-esque barbie inspired pink girly nails i'm going in with my nourish cuticle oil from the gelish kit just to finish off this beautiful set and then we're gonna come right back to our completed set okay period ah this set came out so cute for a fill-in, I'm extremely pleased with the way that these nails came out. I think that this was a success. I love the style. I love the color. I love that I was able to change my shape. I love that I didn't have to take off all the nails. Everything just looks so good. If you guys enjoyed this nail tutorial, then make sure you give it a huge thumbs up down below. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and join the tribe because we're about to hit 100k i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching this video don't forget you are smart you are beautiful and people love you i love you and i can't wait to see you at my next upload bye